Hello and welcome to your XNA tutorial number 7 and today we are going to uh, change the back color and the size of our game window so um, as you can see I deleted all the comments and um, I did that because it's easier for you to follow my code and it's easier for me to type my code to write my code so um, that's why I did it I recommend you to do it uh, it's easier so the first thing I want you to sh I want to show you is how to change the back color. So go to your um, draw function. Graphics device dot clear is where you set the color and change this to color dot. Uh, let me see a strange name. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I don't know. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chartreuse. Let's see how this looks like this is green this is light green I don't know Chartreuse that's a strange name for a normal color so the problem is that my the background of my uh, ship is white so if I change this to white and I run this um, this looks alright because uh, you can't see the background but uh, this is not the solution because imagine that my background is complex. Imagine that I have like trees and flowers and uh, water and uh, if I have that and even other sprites behind these sprites, if I have that, um, then I can't do this. So I need to make the background of my uh, texture uh, invisible, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the next tutorials. So I'm going to change this back to the default, which is corn flower blue. And I don't know why this is a default. I don't even I don't even know if there is a, a corn flower, but uh, okay. So corn flower blue, let it be. Now I'm going to show you how to change the size of the screen. Go to uh, your the constructor, the public in one constructor, and change this to graphics dot preferred back buffer height is equal to and I'm going to make this um, I don't know 700 and graph now I need to change the width and preferred back buffer width is equal to a thousand no twelve hundred okay so run this as you can see the window is bigger now and this is cool but imagine that I want to make this a full screen game uh, I would need to make my um, my I would need to make my uh, the size of this window uh, as big as the screen that you are using so um, and this changes from um, there are some computers that some screens are bigger than other screens so the you need to know exactly what's the size of the screen where the game is running so to do that you make this equal to graphics adapter dot default adapter current display mode and height you make the same you I'm sorry you make the same thing to our width Graphics adapter dot default adapter dot current display mode and width. Run this, and as you can see, this is as big as my um, screen, and uh, this is not full screen because there is a special function, um, a property that makes this window um, that that makes our game. A full screen and I'm going to show you this in um, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this a full screen game so uh, this was our tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching and I see you next time